on how BIT can become a National Institute of Learning. Board member of Engineering Society of Western Pennsylvania, ESWP, Executive Committee of International Water Conference, IWC, is recognized as leader in water treatment industry. He has been given the title of Chair Emeritus by IWC Executive Committee. Please welcome Prabhat Sinha from Virginia. Hello everyone. All those who are attending the meet on the West Coast Annual Meet for Bitsana, greetings from Prabhat Sinha. I graduated in 1963 from BIT Sindri in Chemical Engineering and after a short stay in India as Assistant Professor in BIT Sindri and University of Roorkee, now IIT Roorkee, I came to US and since then I have been here. Like many of us, our initial years here in the US or any other part of the world, we spent most of our time in our career development creating a better life for ourselves and our families, and celebrating our personal achievements, socializing with friends and family members. I'm sure there were some that remained in touch with BIT, but honestly, a majority of us didn't. We, do, we didn't do too much for our alma mater and also lost touch. All this happened even when we had an alumni association here in the US and in many parts of India. It gives me personal joy and great pleasure to speak on BIT Sindri as a National Institute of Learning. Although our journey began in early 1949 under the direction of our revered leader, late Dr. D.L. Dishpande, our acceptance as a national institute fell through a crack and never completed. Some may say there were roadblocks, lack of interest, to provincial or whatever else. The fact remains that we are not on the published list of institutes of national importance maintained by the Department of Human Resources or Department of Education. During my visit to BIT campus in 2018, when alumni from all over the world and the country had collected for their annual meeting, I saw the enthusiasm of our current director, the faculty members, and BIT alums across the country. I was impressed by the campus, but most of all, I was impressed by the achievements of the, of the alumni, young and old. I could feel their love for the Institute, the feelings of brotherhood, and passion for doing something out of the ordinary for the Institute. I had the honor to meet the current director, Dr. D.K. Singh, our chief guest and alumni, Dr. K.P. Singh, and other alumni who were present. That's when the ball started rolling. With some of our famous alums, we discussed the path for BIT to be recognized as an institute of national importance. I came back to Delhi, pulled out the list of institutes of national importance, and went through depression when I saw institutes on that list that were not even that well known were included compared to our alma mater. I was fortunate that one of my very close relatives was at the helm of the old planning commission of India, now Niti Ayog, who could be approached. I had dinner with him the next night and two of our senior alumni members met him in his office with a formal request that BIT should be added to the list of institutes of national importance. My cousin, Niti Ayog CEO Amitav Khan, called the Secretary of Higher Education immediately and requested that he should meet with us immediately. An application was filed and we quickly learned that getting on that list for a provincial institute was not that easy. We tried. As you all know, NITs and IITs were selected by Government of India with recommendations from the state governments and BIT's name was never recommended either by the state of Bihar and later by the state of Jharkhand. This happened as our alumni were being recognized all over the world and in the country. Never was it ever mentioned that we belong on that list of national institutes while our alumni served in prestigious positions in the Government of India and the most well-known institutes in India and abroad. I wish I had a timeline to tell you when you will cross the finish line, but significant progress is being made thanks to the senior Government of India officers who have met with the ministers responsible for BIT's upgrade and the help from our ex-chief minister of Jharkhand and our most passionate BIT alumni director, Dr. D.K. Singh, and our alumni based in US and Delhi and abroad. And to all this, we add the relentless love for the Institute Dr. Krishpal Singh has expressed through his generosity and commitment to open a nanotechnology research center on BIT campus. Friends, no is not in our vocabulary and we will always win. In spite of COVID-19 taking up most of our time and the time of senior government of India officials, we will succeed. When it comes to education and research, we are second to none. Hope we'll meet again to toast the BIT's elevation to National Institute of Technology very soon. Thank you all.